Hello and welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial from Tutcast.com. I'm Eric from YouTube.com slash Techtopia and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create crystal text in Sony Vegas. Before we get started, let me show you a quick preview of what the final product will look like. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is input two blank video tracks. Now to do this, just right click anywhere on your timeline and hit insert video track. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut control shift Q, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. Now let's import some media. I'm going to go up here to file, import media, and scroll down to a, a video clip. Here's an animation that I made in Adobe After Effects. Basically it's just a small clip of these red particle things flying around. Here's what it looks like. So nothing special, just a small creation from Adobe After Effects. You can use whatever video clip you want, it's up to you. So now what we're going to do is bring in our text. To do this, let's go to our Media Generators tab right here. And if you cannot see this tab, go up here to the top where it says View. Click on that and scroll down here and make sure that Media Generators is checked. So here we are in our tab here. We're going to go to our Text category and drag Default Text to the top track. Now you can type whatever you want here. I'm just going to type crystal text. It's up to you though. And I'm just going to change the font to something a little more thick. Uh, you want to use a nice thick font. You don't want to use a really thin one. This one will do. And the font size is a little big, so I'm just going to make it a bit smaller here. Let's highlight the text and change it to about size 48. Alright, so that'll work a lot better. Now we can uh, close this dialog box here. What we're going to do is scroll down here to our compositing mode. It's this green icon right here on the video track. Let's click on this. Go to Custom. And we're going to double click on Sony Height Map. And we're going to input some custom settings here. For amplitude, we're going to put 0 0.04. For elevation, we're going to put 0 0.08. For height scale, we're going to leave it at 1.000. For edge pixel handling, we're going to put transparent background. For source channel, we're going to put intensity. For smoothness, I'm going to actually change this to about 9. And these three options here are all going to be unchecked. We can now exit this dialog box. And if we play back our video, we already got something cool happening here. Now before I move any further, I'm just going to quickly align our media. Now what I mean is, look at our text. It goes on longer than our video clip does. So I'm just going to quickly drag the edge so that it's in line with both uh, the video clip and the text. And that just makes it a bit cleaner. So it's up to you, but I like to do it just to stay a little more organized. But whatever. So now what I'm going to do is duplicate our text track and just go up here to our text track, track number one, right click on it and hit duplicate track. So we now have two copies of our text and the final step is to change the compositing mode of our very top track by going over here to the compositing mode, click on it, and change it to multiply mask. And now if we play the video back, we're basically done. We've created a very simple crystal text effect. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, head over to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash techtopia. I have over 30 Sony Vegas tutorials alone, and I have over 60 tutorials overall. I do Photoshop tutorials, I do After Effects tutorials, I do Camtasia tutorials, I do tons of tutorials, so I got lots of stuff for you to check out, so head over to my channel. But anyways, thanks for watching, take care.